Now the metric unit conversion for mass is very similar to uh, metric unit conversion for length in fact. In fact I borrowed some of the uh, part of the diagram from the last video, uh, the metric unit conversion for, for, for length. Uh, I've just changed some of the units of course, um, but you'll notice that some of the prefixes are identical. So kilo for example, uh, we have um, milligrams or milli, micrograms, okay there's kilo, kilo tons, so the T is tons. Okay. Now, if you notice the, the numbers in red or the arrows in red, um, they indicate what you need to do to go from a larger unit of measure to a smaller unit of measure. Okay, so converting tons to kilograms, you multiply by a thousand. Converting kilograms to grams, you multiply by a thousand. Grams to milligrams, multiply by a thousand, so on and so on. If you wanted to go from, say, tons to milligrams in one step, you, just, you can multiply by one with the number of zeros that are needed. So uh, there's nine zeros, so to convert tons to milligrams, you can you can multiply by one billion, okay, all at once. But you know, you don't have to do it all at once. You can just uh, do it one step at a time and convert between these various units. Now, this second part of the diagram here, uh, we just go beyond the ton to some slightly or some bigger units. I say slightly bigger, but actually substantially bigger. Um, tons to kilotons, again, um, a thousand times bigger than a ton. Kilotons to megatons. Again, there's a thousand kilotons in a megaton. Okay, so likewise to go from megaton to kiloton, you multiply by a thousand um, kiloton to ton by a thousand. Let's have a look at an example. Okay, so if I had, for example, 88 grams, and I wanted to convert that to kilograms, so grams to kilograms, we follow the blue arrows, which is the division. Okay, so dividing that by a thousand. Okay, and we get 0 0.088 kilograms. Okay. Now let's convert kilograms into tons. So 0 0.088, again divide that by a thousand and we get, now we're going to put in, dividing by a thousand basically puts in an extra three zeros after the decimal point. So we've got one zero there, we're going to add another three zeros, it's going to make it four zeros. One, two, three, four, eight, eight. Okay, no calculator necessary. Okay, and that's in tons. All right, tons to kilotons. Okay, we've got four zeros, one, two, three, four, eight, eight. Divide that by a thousand. Okay, what do you think is going to happen here? No need to reach for your calculator. Okay, you could if you wanted to, but if you know the pattern or you can learn the pattern, okay, we're going to put in another three zeros after the decimal, after the decimal point. Okay, so instead of having four zeros, we're going to have seven. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on a new line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and that's in kilotons. Okay, so very simple, very straightforward.